So what's going on, guys? This is kind of a really random live stream, but I haven't gone live in a while. I wanted to do a little P.O. Box haul. I've gotten a lot of stuff recently, and don't even get me started on the amount of stuff that I bought for Black Friday. I'm almost actually mad at myself for how much stuff I bought for Black Friday. Went a little overboard, but yeah. And also I wanted to come on and start talking about Scent Explore. It's coming up really, really fast. Two days, I just, this year has flown by so insanely fast. I really can't believe that we're already in December and that, you know, it's going to be Scent Explore in two days. My brother and I are leaving Thursday morning to go to New York City. The first day of the event is on a Friday. And I'm just, I'm so excited to go and to meet everyone, meet all the different influencers that are coming and to see, you know, New York City during Christmas time. It's an amazing time to be in New York. The last time that I was in New York in December was... Um, two years ago or something. It was like at the height of the pandemic. It was when everything was shut down. Um, there was no indoor dining. That was a really bizarre experience to be like eating outside on the street with a heater over you. And it's like 30 degrees outside. It's just, it was kind of fun though. Hi, Jennifer. But um, I kind of liked it because it was kind of fun to just be alive during this totally crazy time if you know what I mean and walking around places like Times Square and there's just no one there it was kind of like this eerie weird feeling like this feeling of possibility or whatever I don't know it was just it was very odd probably won't happen for another you know to the next pandemic whatever the heck that's going to be but um, I have all these videos of us walking around Times Square and it's just totally empty but I'm really excited to be going back high tech where and I feel like I've been waiting for this for so long, but it's like now it's finally here. So I have some fragrances here. I have a lot of fragrances here, actually. I've gotten a lot of things in the mail from the Etsy brands that I'm going to be partnering with. Not really partnering, but um, a lot of you guys know if you came over, if you came over from my uh, Erica 35 MM channel. Um, you guys know that I had an Etsy shop. I still do have an Etsy shop. I have a jewelry business, but I don't really promote it that much. It's just, I think my issue was that I tried for so long to juggle a million things all at once. And it just, it, I kind of fell into the hustle culture. Like uh, it's, it's prideful or whatever. Like it's something to be proud of if you are doing a million things. It's like, I was always pushing myself, how many different things can I juggle at one time? And what I found was that it's just like, I'm not good at one thing. You know what I mean? It's like all these different things that I'm doing at that time, we're just doing okay. Instead of just focusing all my energy on one thing and making that one thing really great. I just had like so many different things I had to juggle and it was really overwhelming for me. So I do have it, but I don't think that it's something that I'm going to continue um, people always give me crap because they're like, oh, you're a quitter. Da, da, da. It's like, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I think that sometimes it's a good thing to know when to quit, you know? Like, if things aren't, if, if you think it's not going to go anywhere, like, why try to force it? You know what I mean? And and I could make it very successful if I didn't want to do fragrance stuff. If I wanted to put all of my effort into the jewelry business, like, I could, you know, grow it. But, hi. Aussie fragrance, but um, I want to put all my effort into the fragrances. I'm finding that's something that I really, really, really love. And um, I've totally veered off from my old YouTube channel, like where I was vlogging all the time. I don't feel called to be vlogging and sharing my life. It's just not something that interests me. It's something that's insanely draining. And I find that I really love making the fragrance videos. So that's what I'm going to put all my effort into. And that's another thing that I wanted to talk about is that um, I'm doing this thing that's technically a tradition in the vlogging world that's called Vlogmas. I'm sure you guys have heard of it, um, where we're vlogging channels to post every single day in um, December. And I am going to be doing that on my fragrance channel. I just said I'm going to do a Fragmas. <laughs> 
um, thing. I'm probably the only one on the planet that does that, but I'm going to post every single day in December. I have a lot of videos, well, a lot of ideas that I need to film, but I'm going to film a couple things tomorrow and have some things uploaded so that I don't have to worry about it the first few days of December when I'm at Sun Explore. So I'm really excited for that to kind of see the difference in like my analytics and things like that. Just see the difference in my channel growth and everything in December because December is the most like um, lucrative month of YouTube, if you guys didn't know that. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about some fragrances. I have a, one, two, three, four, four different brands here that are from Etsy. I'm going to be doing a oh, so full circle of why I started that long rant with the Etsy shop <laughs> is that I wanted to make a video to promote small businesses for Christmas because, you know, it's nice to give the little guys some attention to as I'm going to be showing you guys in this live, they make, like some of them make really amazing products as well. It's, you know, you don't just have to spend a million dollars to get a really good perfume. All these are really affordable and they're really nice and good quality and amazing scents. Um, and they're all handmade and everything like that. So I think it's nice to kind of give some spotlight to the smaller businesses and, you know, show some love as well. So that is what we're going to be doing. So I have, uh, I guess I'll talk about the non essay stuff first. So this is kind of random, but I actually was gifted this by Josh from Imaginary Authors when I was filming the videos of him. This is his new release, um, In Love With Everything. This is a fragrance that was basically designed or inspired by pre-Miami Vice. Like how crazy specific can you get? And uh, I love it because I love to rollerblade. It has the roller skates and I've actually gotten a lot of questions about this one, surprisingly, and it's a very wild scent. I'm going to say it, it's a little polarizing, but, and it's very, very different than anything else that Imaginary Authors has put out. Um, even Josh was saying this when I was talking to him that, you know, he really leaned towards like really kind of thick, woody, like dark fragrances and this is just like the polar opposite and he actually said something that really stood out to me and really made a lot of sense is he said that the first thing that came to his mind when he smells this is like neon and that's kind of how the Miami Vice story was born is he just envisioned neon that was the first step because he actually makes the perfume before they make the story which is very interesting it's not like they, they create a story then they make a perfume based off it they create the perfume and then they write the story. So very cool. And it is, it's like this very different, very bright and loud fragrance. This thing is a powerhouse. It's actually funny when I came home from um, filming with him, I was just kind of, I was in the service elevator and I was like, well, I'm just going to spray it. Like I couldn't even wait to get home. I just sprayed it like three times in the service elevator. And then I went back down the service elevator like 30 minutes later and it was like, it was almost like a hot box walking into it, a hot box of in love with everything. It was so strong, lasted that whole time and just almost amplified, like it's so strong. And it's really nice. It's it's just very different. It's this crazy, almost sour raspberry with coconut. Um, some of the other notes in here is citrus pulp, coconut palm sugar, um, sandalwood, tropical punch, and their imaginary note is stardust. And I really think that the whole story, the name, the imaginary note, it just totally knocks this one out of the park. Like it perfectly describes it. And I do like it. It's just something totally different. Like there's nothing else like this. And I just think it's so cool. I'm very happy to have it. So thank you guys. And um, I've seen a lot of you guys messaging me on Instagram saying that you actually bought the other one that I recommend a lot, the Whiffable Waffle Cone and saying you guys are in love with it. So Imaginary Authors is a really great house. I also really like the um, the Memoirs of a Trespasser. It's more of like a, to me, it's a little more masculine vanilla scent, but really nice to dry down. It's just fantastic. And I like this house because it's just so affordable. All their products are under a hundred dollars, and the Whiffle the Waffle Cone one is um sixty five dollars. So so affordable for an amazing niche fragrance house, and yeah. So I also have been getting a ton of Discovery sets in the mail recently. I don't have those here because 
um, it's part of Fragness. Fragness, it's my PM. <laughs> um, I'm going to be doing a couple of videos on the discovery sets. Like I have one from Soradora. I have a discovery set from Commodity that I'm so excited to try because I found a Sephora. They're not in all the Sephoras. I've only found one Sephora in Miami that actually had the um, Commodity, their new line, and they were so good. So I'm really excited to go through the discovery set with everyone. Hi, everyone. Let's catch up on the chat a little. Hi, Tom. Hi. Thank you. Love your views. Thank you. Hi from Chicago. Hi, Robert and Mark. Yes, I'm very excited about Sun Explore. It's getting really close. Ooh, I'm going to knock everything over. And then the next very random thing that I bought <laughs> the other day. So this is like not for my P.O. box. This is kind of off course for what this is supposed to be, but we're going to roll with it. Um, I found this big giant bottle of this Taka Toka Simone and it was so cheap. It was like $35 and I really like it. It's, it's a very youthful, but not too sweet, kind of like this floral watermelon scent. It's a very strong watermelon note and very, very I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's like young and youthful, but still very classy. It's not like a, you know, juicy couture kind of scent. So I really like that one. Cheap steel. So. Okay. So. Okay. The next thing. I got a sample in the mail from Givenchy. This is their new fragrance, Irresistible. And they didn't send this to me as like an influencer. It was kind of random. I was just scrolling on um, Instagram and I got a little like ad or something that said, do you want a free sample? And I was like, yes, I do. I didn't like Toy Boy. Yeah, I didn't really like it at first either, but I decided just from all the hate that I got from saying that I didn't like it, I decided to go back and to try it again. And I actually found that at the rag store a couple days ago and I bought a bottle of it. And I'm going to be doing a video on my updated thoughts on that. But this fragrance here, this new one by Givenchy, um, I'm trying to decide whether to buy Spice Mount Extreme or Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. Yeah, it's a little tough. I, I think now is the time to buy Tom Ford. Just I've been hearing a lot of other people talking about how, well, I mean, obviously everyone knows that the company was just sold to um, Estee Lauder. And uh, apparently a lot of people are thinking that the prices are going to skyrocket or the quality is going to go way down. So I, if you're interested in Tom Ford, I would probably buy it before that happens. <laughs> but yeah, so this fragrance here. Oh my God. I was not expecting this one to be so good. It's like an even better Burberry Her. So if you guys like Burberry Her, you will die when you smell this. It's almost like a more, see my only beef that I have with Burberry Her is that it's just this very linear, very, it's very sweet. It's a really nice scent. Like it, uh, it smells really, really good and something that you want to smell but it's just a little too much for me to wear just on its own. And I think this one is, it smells like Burberry Her, but more like, it's like a more floral version of Burberry Her, a more musky floral version. And I was not expecting to like this as much as I do. Um, what does it say here? So it says floral, woody, fruity, luscious rose, dancing with radiant blonde wood. So if you guys go in a store, definitely try this one because wow. Wow. I might actually have to buy a bottle of this myself. And then the next sample that I got in the mail, this is really funny. I got a package from uh, Mossy. They're one of the brands that are going to be at Scent Explore. They sent me this big box <laughs> and they're so funny. They, it put, they put a card in here and it says... It says, uh, dear Erica, thank you for your support. I look forward to getting to know you better at Scent Explore. And I've enclosed props to use for photos. <laughs> so they sent me a sample of their new release. This is their High Times, New York's, New York's NY High Times 
sample with a big box of like crops <laughs> for photos. So I'm a little nervous to try this one because this is supposedly a cannabis scent. Okay, there's nothing on that. All right, let's try it. Okay. It reminds me of something that I've smelled. I don't, the, that green cannabis note is not the star of the show, thank God, because I don't think I could do something that's like that strong. Do I like bad boy? Um, I don't know. I smelled it once a long time ago and I think that I just thought it was pretty basic. I think that, well, I know that I definitely like the um, CH Man a lot better. That's my favorite Carolina Herrera uh, men's fragrance, the CH Man. Okay, I can get behind this. Definitely not on, it's strong. Definitely not on me, but on a man. I like it. It's very green, almost like a little leathery cannabis scent. It's definitely different. So I'm going to have to do, I'm going to spend some more time with it, see what I think. I don't want to start like saying a bunch of things that aren't true. Um, the, the EDP has a cannabis note too, and it's prominent. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't remember liking it that much. I think I visited um, Good good Boy a couple times, or Bad Boy, not Good, good Girl, Bad Boy a couple times. And I don't think, I don't remember liking it. It definitely wasn't enough to like stand out. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even remember. I just remember being totally neutral towards it. Mm, but this Givenchy one is just, I really like this. Like so much beautiful. Like watch out um, for bear hair. This is, this is the new one. Wow. But the bottle's not as nice. I think that's actually a huge part of the presentation. I think that a lot of women really like Burberry Her for the bottle. Like, it's a really cool bottle. Um, is that one unisex? Um, I don't know which one we're talking about. If we're talking about the Givenchy one or the New York High Times, it, the New York High Times one from Mossy is definitely unisex. This is definitely feminine. Um, the Givenchy one, it's like Burberry Her. I mean, if you want to smell like a nice, beautiful, floral, slightly woody strawberry shortcake, go for it. Yeah, all fragrances are unisex, I agree. You wear whatever the heck you want to wear. And that's another video that I want to film for my fragments. It's on my list of video ideas. Is my favorite like feminine fragrances to smell on a man. Because I keep saying it, but girls like to smell feminine fragrances on men too. So... Okay, so getting into the Etsy brands, I'm going to start, all right, this is the most recent package I got. Um, this is from a brand called, okay, I'm going to butcher the name, but technically I messaged them and on Instagram and asked them to send me a voice recording of how to properly pronounce the name because I didn't want to say it wrong, so I tried. They haven't responded yet. Um, Al plus Kimi. Keme. <laughs> and they just sent me a little thing here. Perfume is a great example of alchemy. Transforming raw materials into beautiful fragrances. It can transform the ordinary to the extraordinary. So they sent me two. They sent me their 1231 and their caramel pistachio. And I've smelled these already. These are definitely more on the um, mass appealing side but they're really nice like this one this caramel pistachio I love this one this is it's almost like a better version of um juicy viva la juicy gold couture I always like have such a hard time saying that for some reason but it's really really nice and uh, the only problem is the packaging I can't like the first time they sent me the package it leaked out everywhere and got all over like there was no juice in the bottles when I got them they, they sent this again and uh, it's just I don't know the oil is like all over the cap and 
like I don't want to say anything bad. It's like I also don't want to say, oh yeah, these it's just amazing. I mean, the juice is fantastic, but these bottles need work. And then yeah, see, it's, it's oil all over this. Um, but the smell is just amazing. This smell is actually kind of similar to the Givenchy one. Very like a little more fruity. The other one's a little more. The Givenchy one's a little more musky, um, woody. This one's very fruity, but very nice. I like it. And great smells, like amazing work putting the oils together and creating the juice. It's just when you work on those packaging, girls. All right. And then I have these roller balls from this brand called Jamie's Perfumery. Oh, this one kind of settled. But I like these because you get to, um, like when you order these, you get to pick the scent, you get to pick the color of like, I don't know what this is, Mika powder or something, like an orange. This is like a lavender kind of color in this green one. And I like these two. These scents are good. This one is called Miami. It's just basically exactly what you would picture. Just a really nice kind of fruity cocktail. Tropical pineapple. And then I got the Alpine cheer my only beef with roller balls is that they just it's it's definitely better if you want something that isn't projecting like crazy if you know what i mean if you want something softer roller balls are very good this one smells really good too it smells like a christmas tree but i think i'd like it better if it was like a candle or something and this one i really really like this is the um Lavender Marshmallow. I mean, you could definitely make it stronger. You just have to sit there and roll and roll like all over. This one's really nice, the Lavender Marshmallow. I think this is her most popular one. Um, have I tried the Louis Vuitton frogs? No, I haven't found anywhere that has them to sample yet. The the uh, the department store game in Miami is not that great. I'm gonna have to go like an hour away to find good good department stores. So, eventually, um, I don't imagine that the roller balls last that long, honestly. But you know, it's good because you just put it in your pocket or whatever. If you're a girl, your purse, and you just keep applying it. Like it's not a big deal. But probably like a couple hours, maybe like three to four hours. Really nice. And then I have these cool drops. I haven't, this is from a brand called Mandala Gems. And these are kind of like oils that are infused with these crystals and herbs and flower petals and things. It's more of like an oil to use to set an, an, an intention. Maybe I'll learn how to talk one of these days. It's really pretty. It smells more like like a, like a spa oil or something like that. It's, I, I don't think these are necessarily something that you're wearing to impress other people. It's more of a fragrance that you wear um, like for intention for yourself, like for a calming effect. Nima, hi Nima. Eric, hi Eric, I got an email from Snake Sport after all. I guess they'll be sending you the queries virtual login soon. Good, good. I'm sure they're scrambling. Like, these kind of events take so much manpower and so much organization. It's just, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Like it took that long. If there's people that signed up and they still haven't gotten emails that they might get it tomorrow. You never know. But I really like these as well, but it definitely kind of feels to me more like it's just something that you're wearing for yourself. And then your last brand, I don't know. Am I sounding like really weird, you guys? I feel like I'm kind of off my game tonight. <clears throat> I don't know. I've been very stressed out, running around like a madman. Looked like I was going to sit. No, I haven't gotten that into perfume yet. <laughs> so these are also rollerballs. These scents. These are probably my favorite. Okay, if I had to rank my favorites in terms of scent profiles... Probably this one's number one, the caramel pistachio. And these two are just amazing. This one is just, oh, it's kind of like a, 
a cinnamon French toast kind of thing, but in the best way possible, the most wearable way possible. It's really, really nice. I just wish that I um, got this in a perfume. <laughs> um, the ingredients on these fractionated coconut oil fragrance. No, oh, so that's another thing about these smaller brands too is that they tend to not use as many ingredients and like as harsh. Like a lot of them have a focus on being gentle and hypoallergenic and you know healthy fragrances. But this one is really amazing too, and I love. Oh, I dropped the, I dropped it. Okay. I love the packaging. This lion, it says a uh, literary snob. It's a lion <laughs> reading a book. But this scent is so good. This is like woody, musky, but there's a sweetness to it too. And I really, really like this one. I think I like this one more than the breakfast one. I gotta get this cap. Oh my gosh. I'm losing things left and right. But yeah, huge haul. And we haven't even gotten started on the Thanksgiving Black Friday shopping that I did. I bought, oh my God, I bought, I got one from Zerjoff. I got a, dis, a discovery set from Zerjoff, not a sample set from Zerjoff, but like the, um, you create a box of like three 15 ml perfumes. So, the, they're the same little bottles. <laughs> if those are Atars and it's essential oil, get more concentrated. No, it's not Atars. These are brands from Etsy, just small local shops. And um, so I got those from Zerjoff for Black Friday. I got um, something from PDM. I got something from. It's not really bad that I'm like having trouble remembering. Oh, Michonne, duh. And <laughs> I got something from um, Maison Margiela, the replica line. I got another fragrances. So lots of stuff. And I'm really excited to do that kind of haul unboxing. Those fragrances, I'm so excited. I'm a little impatient. They haven't shipped yet, but I'm like, when it comes, I know it's going to be worth it. Hello, Rafi. Caught me right at the end. It's going to be a short one tonight. I already went through everything. I don't know. I'm just so busy. I have so much to do. I need to go cook dinner and I need to go to Target. Yeah. I'm not going to, what's their job? I'm not saying. <laughs> Can't wait for my video. But it's a really good one. Technically, I got four, technically. <laughs> It'll look like four little Zer jobs on my shelf, I guess. So um, that's another reason. No, I didn't get Naxxas. Don't start guessing because <laughs> one of you guys are going to guess right. But, um, Right now, I'm doing a huge, like, decluttering. I've been watching from the beginning, of course. <laughs> Always in the background. But um, I have been doing, I just posted a ton of things on Macari, a big declutter because, uh, not necessarily because I don't like the scents that I'm selling. I actually do like all of them. It's just I feel like I've owned them for long enough now that I, I have a good understanding of them. And I can talk about them. I know how they smell. I know how long they last and things like that. That like I don't need the bottle to talk about them. And I want to make room, you know, for new things. So I don't really need to have a thousand bottles of perfume. So I'm just trying to recycle a little. I think they're all very reasonably priced. Nope, not Alexander too, but <laughs> We're done guessing. I gotta go, guys. I have to start getting ready. I have so much to do before Thursday morning. It's it's kind of unreal. But if you guys could see my to-do list, you would faint. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. And I hope you guys all had an amazing Thanksgiving. I know I did. And I will see you guys very shortly.